The Israeli Prime Minister will be meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson this morning in Washington ahead of his first meeting with U.S. President Donald Trump at the White House tomorrow. But his first set of meetings come on the heels of some sour internal affairs in the Israeli cabinet after a series of leaks from top-level meetings. The Israeli government is now considering using lie detector tests to ensure that internal debates aren't leaked, especially since some of the Prime Minister's controversial comments comments regarding Trump were released to the media just before his visit to Washington. Prior to Netanyahu's departure to the United States, the Israeli leader reportedly warned his ministers to tread lightly and, quote, take Trump's personality into account during their upcoming four-hour meeting. The premier did, however, publicly characterize the upcoming talks with this brief statement. The alliance between Israel and America has always been extremely strong. It's about to get even stronger. Uh, President Trump and I see eye to eye on the dangers emanating from the region, but also on the opportunities. And we'll talk about both, as well as upgrading the relations between Israel and the United States in many, many fields. Hours earlier, Public Security Minister Gilad Erdan declared that all members of the Security Cabinet and foremost the Prime Minister oppose a Palestinian state. But the Premier sidestepped a question from reporters on the current status of his commitment to a two-state solution. Meanwhile, photos have already been released of the Israeli premier meeting with several of his top advisors at the official Blair House presidential guest residence. There's been wide speculation that the premier hopes to convince President Trump to lift restrictions on convicted espionage agent Jonathan Pollard so that he can finally move to Israel. After serving 30 years in prison, the former U.S. Naval Intelligence officer was released in November of 2015, but is forbidden to leave New York for five years. Before leaving the American capital, Netanyahu is also slated to hold talks with Vice President Mike Pence and both Republican and Democratic congressional leaders. But of course, the high point is tomorrow's meeting with the new U.S. president.